Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium, to give you the messages that I receive for love for this week. And we are looking at the sun, moon, rising sign of Cancer, and if Venus is in your Cancer uh, as well. So this is for couples, singles, if you're hoping to reunite with somebody, soulmate, twin flame, whatever the love is, love is love. And that's what I'm picking up on. And for you guys, this is this uh, energy and I'm actually hearing, I want to go home. I can't get there. So some of you may be apart from your partner and you can't get to them where there's this physical and I feel it's an actual physical distance between the two of you. And it's like this yearning, I wanna go home, but they can't, they can't get to you or you can't get to them. And it's, a, it, uh, this is a deep love relationship, a deep love relationship. Now, I don't know why you are apart, but we're gonna see what we can find out as we go along. But the word blame comes out for you guys. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So maybe they were blaming you, you were blaming them. Maybe there was somebody or something else to blame, but I feel there's this distance between the two of you. And again, it does really feel like physical distance and you do not like it. It, it, it it's, it's like this hole, a hole <laughs> inside of you. I don't know if I said that right. Inside of you, that is it. You feel the void. You feel the emptiness. You feel their absence or they feel yours. Now, let me pull your energy and I will pull the other person. Now, for singles, that could be what you were just dealing with. You may have just come out of a situation like that where, you know, there was a lot of blame going back and forth. But for a lot of you, I feel this is... Mm, one moment. For a lot of you, I, I, I really feel this is somebody from the past that you've known. I'm hearing for quite some time, you actually know this individual. And, and there's been this uh, distance between the two of you. So if you're married, you're apart and the void, you're feeling the absence, you're feeling the pull of each other, yearning for each other. Now that could have everything to do with Mercury in retrograde, Aquarius season just begun, all kinds of things are going on, right? But for a lot of you, this has everything to do with the Queen of Swords. You may have felt like you were betrayed by your partner or they felt this way. It's a general reading, so it could go vice versa. The Queen of Swords could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Definitely the energies of somebody who's very intelligent and although they have feelings, they don't wear it outwardly so they can appear a little bit dicey, a little bit cold, dicey, hasty. This person went through a lot and I feel it's really you. I feel that you may have felt like there was a, a sense of, well, split. Look, two roads, a split decision. Do I stay or do I go? Do I go back? Do we return? Do we try it again? Okay. So with the two of so of wands, if I said swords, apologies. I do say the wrong word sometimes. Go with me, guys. Come on, come on. <laughs> with the two of wands, this is somebody who's made a decision to take action and they're going to take a direction. They're just figuring out which way to go. So I really feel you've been very, very patient in this particular situation. Some of you, this is somebody brand new. You want new love. Maybe you've been waiting for that reconciliation. This is a second opportunity coming back around. Temperance, being patient while you're waiting for your soulmate, while your soul connection, your twin flame is fixing their lives. Being patient, wondering, should I continue to wait? And it's not an easy thing to do, especially if there's still blame. It's their fault. They haven't come back yet. I haven't reached my goals because of, you know, that kind of blame game. 
you know, honestly, with this energy and this group of you, I feel that it, it has been um, so long. You, you may not even remember what the real argument was all about. You know what I mean? It's been that long. I don't mean the depth of the pain. I mean the actual real trigger between you and this person. For some of you, this is you feeling like, gosh, Dan, you know, I have been looking for love. I am patiently waiting and it's not happening. It's just not happening. How do I get there? What road do I take? I want to go home. I can't find the way. You can't find the way. They can't find the way back to you. Now, if this is somebody from your past that you wanted to engage with, this could be them trying to find you, but they can't find you. So make sure that that uh, if you do want to reconnect, well, if you want to reconnect, you're accessible. <clears throat> this person has a lot of pain in their chest, or you do, but I feel it's them because I'm pulling your partner's energy right now. Don't worry, those single uh, cancer babies. You got somebody coming, I assure you. You're going to pick the right direction. Strength and courage. You could be dealing with an actual Leo, um, a Sagittarius as well. Hmm. <clears throat> This person may have needed to have a lot of strength and courage just to be around you. I feel that they kind of put you up on a pedestal. And they may have thrown a lot of responsibilities off on you by doing that. It's like you're amazing. You can do anything. Here, you do this. Or you enabled them or vice versa. A form of enabling, but there's a lot of fear attached to this uh, particular situation. One more. One more. So we also have the world card here. And with the world card, this is about travel. This is about a brand new chapter starting in your life. And for those of you who are single, you're ready to start a new chapter. You're done. You don't want it. You've been there. You've done it. No more blame game. No more bull. You're just ready to move forward. You've been patiently waiting. And when is it my time? When am I going to make this change? Well, with the world card, this is saying change is going to take place in your life. And we have the Ace of Cups. So you're getting ready to meet somebody brand new. Start a new chapter. For those of you, if it is somebody that you have a deep amount of love for, where it has been a journey with them, major transformations coming out of one relationship, trying to fix the two of you, fix yourselves, it is coming to an emotional um Coming togetherness is what I'm hearing, where the blame is not going to be there anymore. But they have to find the way to do it. They have to find the strength and courage to be able to make the travel, to, to, to start this new chapter off being open and vulnerable in a big, big way. Some of you are getting ready to meet somebody that is going to be raw, authentic and completely wide open where you might not even know how to handle it. <laughs> you know, it's like, they're going to be like, oh yeah, this is who I am. Boom. And trust you. Now be very careful if they're overly giving too much information of their life, too much personal information or asking you if you are out there dating. Look for the warning signs, okay? But some of you, yeah, use your intuition. Use your uh, inner knowing. That is an owl right there. And owls are all about wisdom. Use your inner wisdom when you go to uh, meet new people. When you are getting ready to meet this person. Again, we got the world card. Some of you are going to meet this person traveling. Some of you, like I said, you're at a distance. And it's, I want to come home, but I don't know how to get there. How do I get there? 
I'm ready to open up. I'm ready to love. They're saying use your intuition. Allow this um, to come through you. And you're going to be guided. Follow the synchronicities. You're going to see synchrony. You're going to find it's almost like um, <laughs> I saw Where's Waldo? <laughs> You know, that big thing, Where's Waldo? And it's like, you got to find him in that Where's Waldo thing. Use your intuition, because that's what Where's Waldo is, right? And you're going to be led almost directly to them. It's like, you're going to find home through your third eye, through your heart, through your soul. You're going to find home. They're coming home, and there's the message right there. I love this reading. I think it's an amazing reading, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is a message, a messenger, but this is a message coming into you from this person. Now you guys are at a distance and it's all about, I love you. There is no more blame. They recognize, you recognize. For those of you meeting somebody brand new, this is going to be somebody I think you're really, really going to connect with. You're really going to like them because and again, it's going to strike you as odd that they're so open and, and authentic. This is being open and authentic, and they may actually be an air sign. But it's the fact that they are ready, and it's going to connect to you because cups is all about you. And that's who this person is coming in. Look at that. This is your perfect partner coming in. The, the twin flame reuniting, a lot of that is taking place and you're going to have that happen throughout Mercury and retrograde. So prepare to hear some people coming back from the past. But this is some, for the group of you, where you really, this may even be your partner, right? I'm coming home. They're trying to find out how to get there. They, they're trying to find their way to you. So have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching. Much love.